Something I don't think have ever been done before is becoming the most valuable player, the MVP on a theater of blood in leagues as the major. And now that I have the Volatile Nightmare staff and the Sanguinesti staff, I think it's very possible for me to become the MVP. Now, we didn't get any purple, but did we get MVP? <gasps> oh my god, the first magic MVP! Oh my, it, it's, it's possible! I did a few Theater of Blood so I can get myself 10 Staminas. We can now upgrade the pool to a Revelization pool. And we also upgrade to a Rejuvenation pool. There we go. We can't get the final two because they are outside of our regions. Kill count 82! Funny thing is, I forgot both soul runes and water runes. I thought this was the water runes, I thought it was soul runes. And I got a purple! Is it deserved? It's not deserved. Purple first raid with these fellas! Can we get the Justishar helm or legs? Justishar legs! That's what we need! That's what we need! Ooh, a new personal best, 1608. And it's for the purple. Hardly. Foxer gets a Justicar Chase card. Do you think this lamp in Canafis looks like my volatile staff? Wait, hold on. My staff is a bit scruffy. Luckily, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. So let me just trim my staff real quick. Much better. So Manscaped hooked me up with a bunch of tools from their all-in-one performance package kit. No matter if you have a nightmare staff or a fighter battle staff, this is worth checking out. First of all, let me show you the new Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts. The Lawnmower 3.0 is a cordless trimmer that has a built in LED light, really helpful for grooming during those cold, dark winter nights. And this is my favorite item in the performance kit, the ball deodorant called Crop Preserver. It's very underrated and very useful. The package also includes the ball toner spray, both these bottles are game changing. And besides these bottles, we also get the Weed Whacker Nose Hair Trimmer. My nose hair grows like a goblin so I definitely needed this. And for a limited time, you get all this plus two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Shaving Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use my link in the description down below. Your Nightmare staff will thank you. A quick little farm run, 91 farming, that should be 92 farming. One thing I yet have to obtain in the leagues is a wilderness pet. And the easiest one I can go for is the Chaos Elemental. So here I am. I'm gonna be here for a while, I think. Ugh. Not another dragon pig. Eh? We just want the uh, the pet. No. Oh, no. That was bad. And we got our cave back. Oh, is that a... Oh my god! Did you see how quick that was? One barrage and five volatile specs and it was dead. He stole my world! This man stole my world! He had to die. Oh no, not another dragon pickaxe. 149 kill count, second dragon pickaxe from Chaos Elemental. Something I discovered while killing the Chaos Elemental is that if I barrage from the distance and then cast a Volatile Nightmare Staff special attack, these two hits stack and I can hit over 120 damage. Meaning if I find a player in the wilderness, I can stack their entire HP in one hit. Oh, we got it. We finally got it, the pet. We got the Chaos Elemental pet, let's go. 250 points as well. That took me a while. Took me a while, but we finally got it. Let's save up so we don't lose it as well. One of the main reasons why I really wanted a pet on leagues is because these pets will follow you to the next league next year. So I will be having a pet Chaos Elemental in the next leagues. And not only that, from this grind we actually got something which is very difficult for me to get in my regions. Super attack potions. So now I can make these super combat potions. 
Very useful for the theater of blood. Home, oh the stack worked. The stack worked. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to see if it was possible to do that on a player, and it was. Oh my god, that kill! <laughs> oh no, he just got destroyed out the game! I haven't really focused that much on points this league, only 25k points, but there are some tasks I want to complete just to prove to myself that I can complete them. Like the fight caves in 35 minutes, I think this should be possible. There's also this monster task for 500 points, complete the fight caves in 25 minutes. I don't know if it's possible to do this one with magic, but we're gonna try. I think we're going for the 35 minutes first. Here we go, it's time. One spec, two spec, three spec, four spec, five spec. Out the EPS the healers. There we go. What was it? Third 2658. Two minutes away from the monster task. That was really close. I think we can complete it 25 minutes as well. We're gonna gamble this one. Blah blah blah. Bargain. Not lucky. Oh my god, look at the timer. We had 25 seconds to kill Jad. Come on. No. Wait. 25.03, three, three seconds away from 500 points. Oh no. But we got 250 league points for doing five JAD tasks. Ah, oh, I gotta go back in. Sacrifice cape for the pet. Never lucky. Come on, we have 30 seconds to kill JAD. 30 seconds. One healer down. It's done. 500 points, 25 minutes. We made it in 24. 58. Oh my god, that's a quick one. Two seconds away from not completing the task. But there we go. We're actually gonna give this fire cape to Tsarketke so we can enter the inferno. And we are also getting ourselves 250 points for sacrificing the cape. There we have it. We have a casket. What do I even need from a hard casket? I don't even know, but here we go. Apparently, we need some ancient bracers and Sardom and plate legs. 100 points from completing that clue scroll. Thank you very much. Ooh, uh, there's a purple for someone. Not a chick. Got a uh, purple. Stolen purple. Ah, uh, and it's an Avernic. Rest in peace. There's a purple! Not for me. It's a sang staff. Sad. Ian gets the hilt. Oh, there's a purple for someone. Aisa got a purple. Ah, uh, a rapier for Aisa. Congrats. Kill count 97. Is it the back to back purple? Ooh, back to back. My name purple. Is it deserved? It's not deserved. Spoilers. Good luck. Ooh, that's an upgrade rapier. <gasps> no way. 250 points. But that's one of the best items I could have. Look at, wait, look at the upgrade. 92 into the. 104 stab and the middle strength 97 to 104 so that's a huge upgrade on my account look at us poking with the rapier beautiful what a beautiful oh shit oh shit i feel like this is my mvp raid here right here this is my mvp raid uh no purple but it, i think it's my mvp it's my mvp the mvp threat works 99 kill count and we got the mvp against these max players volatile spec for the ko solo versic for 100 points no 100 kill count for 250 points but this is the mvp mvp once again back to back mvp i use some very secret magic strats to get the mvp as well and we get absolutely nothing quick little farm run for 94 farming kill count 105 that's a purple for me. Is it deserved? It's not deserved. Justicar Helm, please. Justicar Helm, please. No, another defender. All right, that's 1.5 mil high alk. There we go, I boosted some points and now 
As you can see, I have 750 points. I've been pushing this back for so long, we can now purchase ourselves a rune pouch. Three inventory slots saved. As a major without a band of Skullsort, it doesn't really work to solo Corporal Beast unless you get help from a friend with a BGS specking the Corporal Beast down. So I got help from my friend Vixa on Twitch. So we're gonna try out the three spells we have. We're starting with the Sanguinesi Staff. And I assume the Corp will not hit anything. Okay, this is very accurate. Okay, we got... We got Spec. 60, 60, 35, 63. If I really want an Arcane or an Ellie, I kind of need to make a new account and get the Banos Godsword and do all the specking myself because I can't leech from other players, can I? Or can I? Kill count 1, 300 death runes, and 250 points. I think that's the only kill we're gonna do here. Alright, so I have pretty much done everything I want to do in this league besides the PKing part. I could go for the Infernal Cape, but I'm gonna need a lot of likes to even have the motivation to go for the cape. It could be cool seeing a magician go for the cape, but we need a lot of likes for that. Oh my god, the Volatile Staff is so overpowered. Do you see that? He went down in three hits. Big it. <gasps> oh my god, that KO. Oh, uh, a horologist is dead. That was a beautiful stack. One hit, bam, and bam. And there's someone over here as well. Double KO. Oh my god, this volatile staff is so good. I know I'm not getting any loot, but this is so fun. And let's say they did protect from magic, I do have this Gmail right here, ready to go in. We're going to end the video right here. If you want to see me go for the Inferno, give the video a like. If you want to see me use all types of PK combinations in leagues, give the video a like. And if you want all content creators with different relics and regions do a Trailblazer PvP tournament, let us know in the comments. And I'll see you next week for another video. Wait, you made it past the outro? That means you must really like this video. And since you like this video so much, I'm gonna show you guys some stats. 46.7% of you watching right now haven't subscribed yet. So if you're one of them, make sure to subscribe right now. Hand job is down.